Dell XPS 13 is probably one of the most talked about Ultrabook in its generation. This is indeed a powerful and light machine which is a significant tool for both professionals and students. At its £1600 price tag though, that is a lot of money and a considerable financial investment. So in today's video I'm going to discuss all the pros and cons that I have found after 6 months of usage to help you decide whether or not this Ultrabook deserves your hard earned money. And towards the end I will let you know if I decide to keep this or not. We're not going in detail about the specs because I have already mentioned those in my other video comparing Dead XPS 13 and MacBook Pro. I'll put the link on the description box if you're interested. The Dell XPS 13's display is really, really nice. In fact, it's my favorite with all of the laptops that I have used so far, including MacBooks. The bezels are thin, so you get that more real estate and modern feeling. The screen is touchscreen and is perfectly responsive, which is something that I don't personally use, but I know it's worth mentioning as some of you may really like this feature. The fingerprint unlocking is really responsive and I haven't had any issues with it. The aluminium exterior is lovely and the carbon fiber is durable and it has a nice smooth matte feeling. The keyboard also feels really nice which I would say is comparable to my new M1 MacBook Pro and Air and review on that coming soon by the way so make sure that you are subscribed. Battery life is also decent, which is what I would expect for its price. But then again, if I'm editing videos, I can't expect too much. So depending on your usage, make sure that you have your chargers with you at all times. Another handy thing to have is this micro SD slot right here and it's memory of one terabyte, which is specific to this model. So that perfectly eliminates max dongle life. I do like this laptop and is definitely capable, but I think some things can be better, especially considering the price point. This machine is considered fast, but for my personal heaviest task, which is video editing, 1080p footage in DaVinci, I'm afraid I've experienced some really annoying lags. The built-in camera is not good, but are there any laptops out there with decent cameras? I mean, considering the cameras that we have on our cellular phones, I just can't understand why. The microphone is okay, although it doesn't sound professional. Hi, it's Pia and we are currently using the microphone of the Dell XPS 13. So I wouldn't recommend it for professional use. You would definitely need an external microphone for that. Now let's talk about ergonomics. I don't find this laptop as easy to open. I personally like using hand cream, which can make my hands a little bit slippery at times. And I also work as a nurse, so I am aware of certain conditions where it's not easy for some people to open laptops. And this laptop is definitely isn't helping users like that. Another thing that I'm not a fan of is this trackpad. Dell XPS 13 is definitely a premium laptop, so design and overall experience is considered. This trackpad is hard, which don't get me wrong, after six months of usage, I've gotten used to it, but the moment I use my Mac, I'm just reminded with how much of a resistance there is in this trackpad. I also get lags from this laptop, especially when video editing and multitasking. I'm afraid I won't be keeping the Dell XPS 13. Like I said, I like it and it's definitely a powerful and capable machine and the screen is the best that I have seen so far. But the ergonomics of it is a letdown for me. It's hard to open and I can't even think of the trackpad being stiff. Having said that though, if you are a solid Windows user, this may not be an issue for you. But I definitely recommend for you to have a good feel first before committing your hard earned money. So are you going to buy the Dell XPS 13? Let me know in the comment section down below and you can put any questions in there that you may have regarding this laptop. If you have enjoyed my honest review, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe because it does help with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. I upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you on my next one. Paala!